Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Sun and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 1, Episode 7 of Voltron Legendary Defender called The Return um, to Balmera. So, so Balmera is not doing good at all. They can do a heat, heat signature and it's um, slowing down like the Balmera is going bye-bye. And they want to draw the gar out because they don't want to hurt the planet. So every time like, something is placed on the planet, it hurts the actual creature, which is the planet. Then they create a plan. They have a really cool action scene. And we find out that the red lion has firepower, like actual fire, like it's like little lava shooting out of it. And the blue lion has eyes because um, Lance is getting jealous of Keith. It's like, why does my lion do that? And then I was like, oh. It does eyes. Oh, cool. And we find out there's no troops. And then um, they have to go down. That's where all the stuff is. And they know it's a trap, but they still want to go down there anyway. Then Lance and Keith have shut down the bay doors. Thanks to Lance. Uh, well, Lance was struggling, but Keith did it just by using his handprint. And which honestly is an Easter egg. But um, yeah. <laughs> So, big ass spoiler alert, I've seen this entire series, <laughs> honestly, and but I am rewatching it so I can do a proper review for it, but basically Keith is half Gara because of his mother, so we we don't obviously don't know this yet, but that's why his handprint worked, because of, uh, that's how I think it worked, because Keith just had to use his hand. Anyway, <laughs> big spoiler alert there. <laughs> And um, then we cut to where Hawk um, got them out. Then we cut to where Shay's missing and she's at the center. And so they're moving to the center. Then Lance and Keith actually managed to work together and that's also a trap. And then Allura's under fire because a bunch of ships showed up. And then we cut to where Shay uses Balmera to help. Then we cut to where Zarkon is informed of Voltron and is very upset that um, that the guy didn't do, um, didn't inform him of what he was doing, and he's not very happy with that. Then we cut to where the fighters are going after the lions, and then a cruiser appears, and then the Palins managed to get out and got to the lions. They have a really cool action scene where they fell on Fortron, and then Alora literally obliterated the freaking cruiser, like lit up, literally blew it up. Then Zarkon is upset, and then we see that there's an object incoming on the planet, and that's where we left the episode. I gave this one an A plus because I thought it was really cool because like I literally was doing decent against being on our attack against the fighters, but when the freaking cruiser showed up, they um they used the ion cannon to shoot straight at Alora, so Alora literally had to use all the frontal shield, like take away the front and the sides and just use it for the front. And then when Fultron appeared, if it lifted the cruiser up uh, during the last part of the Ion cannon blast, and then when Allura used the, um, her weapon, I was like, oh shoot. That ship just went, it was so cool. I loved it actually. And, um, I like how it kind of ended a little bit on the cliffhanger, and um, I really enjoyed the episode a lot. The action scenes were really cool. And that's it for this video. So, if it's video, please go to like, comment down below, tell what you think, do you agree, disagree, tell me thoughts down below, and um, suggestions for any other shows you want me to do reviews for, reactions for, or whatever. Also, let me know down below, and please don't forget to subscribe because it does help out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.